Watch enough films, you'll see that there's a formula to it that can be broken down. Today we're going to be breaking down the superhero film. A good place to start is The Origin, where our main character, who's probably white and male and played by an actor named Chris, becomes a superhero through the right combination of radiation and dead parents. I cannot stress enough how important that last part is. Turns out superpowers are kind of optional, but dead parents are essential. Try to have as many as possible. Take Superman, for example. The guy's got two dads, and they're both Robin Hood. I mean, they're both dead. Once our heroes receive their powers, their mentor will deliver them a speech about power and responsibility before you guessed it, they die as well. A lot of people dying in this. We also need a villain, and a common theme is that the villain is sort of a dark mirror of the main character. Look at Big Iron Man, Goth Superman, Bald Ant-Man, Goth Spider-Man, Ugly Hulk. And to round off the cast, we need some poor woman to fill in the thankless role of the love interest. Unfortunately, your job is to get caught by the villain and used as bait. If you're lucky, you'll get on the poster where you're clinging on to the main character and looking scared. Just to even things out a little bit, if they ever get round to actually making the Black Widow film, the poster should just have some scrawny guy wearing barely anything dangling off of her looking terrified. Which, by the way, I'm available for. There's the montage of spinning headlines and reports on the telly. There's a bit where somebody wants to talk about the hero to the main character, unaware that they are the same person. Stan Lee shows up to say hi. Hi Stan! Which brings us to the final showdown, where for some reason there's always a giant laser shooting up into the sky. The hero and the villain knock about buildings, punching each other for, uh, 15 minutes? Then the villain has to die, but it can never be the hero's fault, because the hero's got that rule that they never kill. I won't kill you. But I don't have to save you. Kind of seems like he just killed someone, Batman. Then the hero's victorious, despite the fact that buildings were destroyed and clearly hundreds of people died. The hero will fight crime for several sequels until they make one that everyone agrees isn't very good and they reboot it with a younger actor and the cycle begins all over again. The end. And uh, there's the bit after the credits. I always forget about that bit. You weren't supposed to see this.